All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Wally Walks here. Oh my god, my door's stuck. Um, thank you for coming back. I hope you enjoyed the first episode. We're going to keep trying this. Wally, come here. Uh, introduce yourself again. This is <laughs> Wally. Come here for a second. Come, Wally. Come here. This is Walrus. Oh, he good boy. Sometimes he's very good. Um, and this is going to be a kind of podcast video thing where I walk and I talk and I tell you what's on my mind. I keep you up with news. Uh, and we go for a nice walk together. Thank you for joining. Um, take a moment right now to, if you can, did I shut the door? Ken, did I shut my door? Let me see. Hold on. Look, he's already being bad. He's digging for shite in the garden. I did. I shut it. Okay. Still got our Mardi Gras stuff. Bye. But this is Ken Good. Hi. And this is the Seventh Ward Triangle is still there. If you can ever make a donation to that, you can. Uh, I'll I'll put a little thing so you can see it. Um, but right now, quickly, very quickly, take a moment uh, and right below this video, click subscribe, uh, and that way. Hey, how you doing, brother? Doing good. I'm starting a podcast thing. Awesome. Yeah, you're live right now. Cool. No, you're not live. It's a. <laughs> I wish it was live someday. Um, someday. Hey man, I do videography for a living. You need any? Oh no way. Yeah, you need video work, man. I got you. God damn! Thank you. I appreciate you for real. Yeah, right over there with the fridge. Dude, thank you, brother. Um, so click below and subscribe. And uh, you'll be notified when I make a new video. Um, and make sure to ring the bell down there too. That way you get the notifications. A uh, huge shout out to my eight subscribers. Look at this. This is a... Uh, look at this Mardi Gras house. The inimitable um, Michael Martin's house. Look at this. Beautiful. Incredible. Um... Yeah, so huge shout out to my eight subscribers. They are actually presently the electrical current in my body that makes my heart pump blood. You're so good to me. Um, in the comments of my first video, Keon writes, uh, Wally's world, and you are 100% right. Thank you, Ke Keon. I, I love you very much. Uh, it is Wally's world. This is him. We're just fucking living it. Um, huge shout out. To Sasha Shinoy, who made a donation to the NOLA Project. Their information is going to be right here. If you would like to make a donation to the NOLA Project, please do. We are a theater company right now, and there's no theater going on, as you know. <laughs> um, and so uh, your donations will keep us afloat and keep us doing good quality work. And you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to also throw up my, uh, my own Venmo. If you would like to... There's... Hold on a second. There's dogs barking down there. There's a person over here. I kind of I want to avoid people because like he's gonna bite everybody. Anyway, uh, yeah. If you want to make a donation, <laughs> a personal donation, let me tell you something. Because uh, I would rather do this than make an Onlys fan for sure. And I mean, I would make an Only fan account. I don't want to sort of crush the market with my high velocity sexual prowess, which would uh, it would throw off the balance of not only only fan but um, of life. You know, people once they witness the raw sexuality uh, contained within my uh, incredible sensual hairy body, they, they all the sensuality from that point forward for them would be a huge disappointment. Uh, lovers, husbands, and wives would throw themselves off cliffs. Uh, because they would never achieve the same um, loving prowess. If I stopped making videos, it would fuck everything up, you know what I mean? So I'd rather do this. Uh, so if you would care to make a donation, that would be just lovely. Look at the cow. Jeez, Wally. Did you all hear about, um, they released the names of the hurricanes for next hurricane season and the Hurricane Wanda. I don't know if you all are watching WandaVision or not. I hope you are. It's one of the better shows uh, out right now. 
if you're at all a fan of the Marvel Universe, it is basically, come on, Wally, we can't, it can't be like yesterday. Uh, if you are at all a fan of the Marvel Universe, it is basically an Easter egg hunt nonstop for all the Marvel Cinematic Universes, uh, the universes, because there's going to be multiple now, and they're bringing in, oh, no, never mind, I don't want to spoil a goddamn thing. Uh, but what I would not do under any circumstances is name something as uh, reality uh, crushing, uh, distorting as a hurricane after Wanda Maximoff because that is her, that's what she does is she uh, changes reality. I think it's tempting fate. I wouldn't do it. That's, you might as well be, you know, the number or the, the number, my God, call the funny farm. Um, T, I think it's, I think when I read it, it was Hurricane Thanos. Like, just why would you do it? You know what I mean? Like, just choose another name. Uh, I think Hurricane G was the Great Depression. Like, fuck off. It's a bit, it's a bit, we don't, we shouldn't be tempting fate right now. Things is, things is hard enough with, we don't want to play, play around. Um, Mars, y'all seen the incredible Mars footage. Uh, if you've been following me on Facebook, which I suggest you do, um, you'll see that I really take great delight in shitting on Mars. And I do. Fucking my God. The pictures that come out of Mars are so depressingly non-interesting. Uninteresting. Disinteresting? Anyway, they're awful. They're, they're the most tragic deserts. And, uh crags that people would throw themselves into if I started OnlyFans and then stopped suddenly. Very depressing. Not interesting. No seashells. Ugh. Ugh. But, uh, as uh, I don't know what that is, dude, I don't want you to... It could have been anything, bro. Um, as somebody pointed out in my comments, though, it does, I believe... Was it... Oh, fuck it. Was it thorns? Was it thorns? Maybe? It gives you this very eerie feeling um, of seeing the perspective of a whole other planet. And I do have to say, that is, it is truly eerie. But fuck, those pictures are boring. Boring as fuck. Yes. Oh, look. Um, oh my god, a big pile of shit here. No, Wally, no. Come on. Um, but, you know, I posted a thing today which had... A sort of 360... No, look at this flies coming out of it. I swear, every, every... At least five times a thing, he's trying to eat something. Every block. Five pieces of food, which he is not actually food. Uh, I posted a, a 360 view of Mars, and the rolling waves on the sand were so beautiful, so I have to issue a retraction. Um... It was beautiful. That that one part of Mars is really, you know, it's worth a hundred bucks. Look at the cat over there. Look at this beautiful thing. What am I even looking at? No, Wally, no. Let's find the name of this. Uh, that's someone who lives in... Well, I'll try to find the name of this beautiful place to sit down. I don't know if you want to sit down. Those couches have definitely, definitely seen just better days. Um, yeah. It used to be boring. There's a lovely cat. Uh, but now I'm into Mars anyway. Um, let's talk about Tesca Brown. Uh, probably better known as the Gorilla Glue Girl. She struck a kind of unintentional internet fame when she used Gorilla Glue on her hair... Uh, as a mistake, uh, and it was a mistake, oh, look, is he about to shite? No. Anyway, um, it was a mistake. There's a product called Gorilla Snot, and I know about it because I used to carry it in the barbershop. I used to use it, and in fact, AJ Allegro, there's a big shite coming. I'm going to keep talking while I pick it up. You guys just stay right there, will you? Stay there. AJ Allegro specifically requested that I stop using it in his hair, um, because it... It, it's of the picture on the bottle was so stupid. Ugh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. While he's pulling me, while I'm trying to pick up shit, it's the worst. It's one of the rudest things he does. 
Okay. Um, yeah, it's called Gorilla Snot. It's actually, I think it's a pretty good product, but if you... I'm going to throw it away in this. If you want to um, so it's a, it's a really cool product. But anyway, so it thrust her into meme and internet fame. So much so that she has a, uh, a talent manager or agency looking at her. And, you know, I had a hot take at the very beginning uh, where, in, in a way, I was... Um, I was derisive about the prospect of somebody, of people who get thrust into fame. And it, I, I was sort of derisive as well about the medium of film. Because I do think that uh, if somebody is utterly talentless, they can, with the right director, the right lighting designer, the right costumer, the right all the XY, editors, for fuck's sake, editors, uh, they can actually somebody without any talent can look pretty fucking good. Um, but you know what, upon reconsideration and learning new things, uh, Tessica is actually a, a dance teacher, you know? And so she, I don't know if she's even thinking about doing film. She's been involved in the arts. I don't know uh, how much work she's put into it already and how much as a, a black American artist, how much opportunity has been denied her. And so I'm fucking happy for her. Like, take it, you know, take it when you can get it. And she's an artist. Go on, girl. Go on. Fuck. Like, I'm, I'm happy. I, I hope that she uh, is given an opportunity that she maybe deserved but couldn't get before. I think that's pretty great. Uh, and I, well, I'll just see what she does. Uh, I can... I, and you know what? I hope it. I hope it. She uses her fame, her even if it's temporary, to uh, bring attention to the Louisiana community that she's in, and and the people in her class and everything like that. Like, dude, this is this is a really this is a really cool thing uh, that was born out of <laughs> just the sad a sad mistake. Uh, but I I'm curious to see where it goes, and I'm. Frankly, I'm fucking happy for her. Uh, so, in Colorado, I posted about this, but also something you should know. In Colorado, uh, an area of Colorado, very specific, Alex. No, you're welcome. In an area of Colorado, which is a state in America, uh, there was an experiment done, which was largely an abolish the police experiment, or at least defund the police, uh, which... I do think has an unfortunate name in that it implies things that uh, are not the intention of the movement, but uh, mental health services were offered instead of police showing up to every goddamn fucking thing. And it was a huge success. And mind you, it was just the start of a program, so it was only 3% of uh, calls were sent to this this group of social workers and mental health professionals, but they were successful. They de-escalated. They, you know, they. It, it turns out that you know, if there's a, a, a someone without a home or someone who's having a, a mental health emergency, sending in a dummy with a gun actually isn't that. It, it doesn't turn out the best, and instead a social worker really can do a trick, uh, and so. After the huge success in this, uh, it needs to be expanded. Turns out it works, and I'm very proud of it. I'm, I'm happy about it. Um, in Texas, right now, we talked a little bit about Texas yesterday. In Texas right now, there are people uh, receiving power bills. This is after they were told to not use so much power, and then power went out for many days for some of them, from, for many fucking days, uh, they are receiving bills, uh, extraordinary energy bills. Uh, Washington Times reports, ahead of the storm, Wally, what are you eating? Grass? Okay, anyway. 
Uh, Washington Times reports ahead of the storms, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, which manages about 90% of the state's electrical load, underestimated how much power it would need. And because Texas is the only state in the lower 48 that operates an independent electric grid, it couldn't receive help from neighboring states. Supply couldn't keep up with demand, leading to the Public Utility Commission of Texas, which regulates Texas utility rates to raise energy prices in an emergency meeting on Monday. So on the same day, the wholesale price of electricity spiked more than 10,000%, leaving many Texans with dizzying bills in the wake of the storm, ranging from four digits to one more than $17,000. You fucking imagine? Did you fucking imagine? Your lights are out, your water's not working, uh, the gas pumps aren't pumping, and then you get a fucking bill, many thousands of dollars. Do you know what I would do before I would pay that fucking bill? I mean, I'd definitely get in my car and fuck off from my, I, I would give up the house for sure, or wherever I was living. Not a fucking chance. I would... And some people are paying it. My God! I wouldn't pay that fucking bill. I would... I mean, I, I, and I dodged student loans, but this I would fucking never, ever pay in my life. And uh, so Texas is on its own energy grid. It's separate from the rest of the country, which is why... The rest of the country couldn't come in and help. Uh, and uh, so that was established a long time. That was established, I think, uh, Roosevelt in, in the, around those times. And it makes sense in that what Texas has is land, which is land for refineries, which is land for uh, wind farms, which is land for um, nuclear plants and things like that. And so they wanted to keep the federal government out of their shit and they uh, they were not on the same power grid so in a state of emergency like this they couldn't be helped um, and they they didn't want the federal government sticking their nose in former governor Rick Perry writes on his fuckface blog Texans would be without electricity for longer than three days to keep the federal government out of their business Try to try not to let whatever crisis of the day is t to take your eye off of having a resilient grid that keeps Americans safe personally, economically, and strategically. From the bottom of my heart, the fuck are you talking? What are you talking about? I assure you, not only do the majority of Texans not even know they're on their own fucking separate grid, they don't give a tin penny fuck, bro. Uh, th th this is rid what a ridiculous thing to claim that people would go without. Look at this, this big bone. No, he's gonna get it, and he's gonna it's gonna clog his throat. Um, that people would spend days in below freezing temperatures so they can stay on their own independent energy grid. Would you, that's, that's like saying, you know, yeah, people, we're, Americans are just very comfortable to die, you know, in order to keep the uh, inheritance tax low for people who try to give their kids, you know, over certain many millions of dollars. They would die for that. Would you fuck off? They would not. This fucking preposterous. We don't. You ridiculous asshole. What a, what a silly thing to say. And then he says, uh, try not to let whatever, blah, 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 that keeps America safe personally, economically, and strategically. What on earth is keeping America safe by Texas being on their own grid? You, you, what a, just a term to like, that he knows would make Americans happy. You know, oh, it'll keep America safe. Well, not really. People are fucking freezing to death, aren't they? And economically, you're, now you're charging 10,000, 17,000. You guys are they're, they're fucking crazy, dude. Oh, my God. Conservatives are fucking crazy. Uh, Tim Boyd. 
a, uh, a mayor in Texas, wrote this tweet. Is it a tweet? I think it's a fucking tweet. Or it might have been on Facebook. I don't know. And I, it's so ridiculous that I think it's only appropriate that we do a dramatic reading. No, oh, he's eating something bad. Okay. <laughs> no, he's eating another thing bad. Wally. No, bro. Come on. No. He's eating another... He just ate... Oh, for fuck's sake. Anyway. This is the... Tim Boyd writes. Let me hurt some feelings while I have a minute. No one owes you or your family anything. Nor is it the local government's responsibility to support you during these trying times like this. Sink or swim. Wally, what are you eating, bro? Enough. If this watch, we're about to have, like, Alex pull something out of Wally's throat. The show. Entirely ruined my dramatic reading, bro. Entirely ruined my dramatic reading. No, no, he's going back for more. Okay. Um, the city and county, along with power providers or any other service, owes you nothing. What a beautiful dog. Owes you nothing. I see. I'm sick and tired of people looking for a damn handout. If you don't have electricity, you step up and you come up with a game plan to keep your family warm and safe. Which part of the dog do we eat first? What are you fucking talking about? If you have no water, you deal without and you think outside the box to survive and supply water to your fam- you just, If you don't have any water, you just fucking... You, why don't you drink each other's blood? Why don't you drink the dog's piss? What are you talking about? This is crazy. This is a crazy person. Um, if you are at home, you know, if you're sitting at home in the cold because you have no power and you're sitting there waiting for somebody to come and rescue you because you're lazy, it's the direct result of your raising. Holy shit. Only the strong will survive and the weak will perish. Perish. P-A-R-I-S-H. Perish. Uh, folks God has given us no comma. It's, it's not folks comma God. It's folks God. Folks God has given us the tools to support ourselves in times like this. In below freezing weather. The tools. What are they? Anyway. Um... This is sadly a product of socialist government where they feed people to believe that the few will work and the others will become dependent for the handouts. And I'm sorry that you've been dealing without electricity and water. Yeah, uh, yes. But I'll be damned if I'm going to provide anyone that is capable of doing it themselves. We have lost sight of those in need and those that take advantage of the system and mesh them into one group. Bottom line, quit crying. And looking for a handout. Get off your ass and take care of your own family. Bottom line. This is the second line that's on the bottom. Don't be a part of the problem. Be a part of the solution. No, it actually says, don't be a part of problem. Don't be a part of problem. Be a part of the solution. Holy shit. What a crazy man. What a crazy, crazy man. Um, And it's wild because... It actually, he's like, we don't owe you anything. You actually do. It's your job. We voted you in because you're to pay. We pay your salary because when shit hits the fan, you are to help us. And when shit doesn't hit the fan, you are supposed to make it so shit never hits the fan to begin with. It turned out. So, all right, anyway, he immediately resigned. What a festering maggot asshole. Um, So, a, uh, a conservative line of perspective and attack right now, they are attempting to blame the energy loss on, uh, half of their wind farms froze. Uh, in reality, uh, in the winter, Texas gets about 18% of its energy from wind farms, which, and to give credit where credit's due, that's a lot. Like, they are at the forefront of 
uh, renewable energy, and I think that's great. Um, but the conservative line of attack right now is to say that the winds, the, the windmills froze, and that's the cause. Some 9% of energy is actually 100% of the energy is basically what they're trying to do. Um, and it's wild. They're, they're also saying, like, who could, have, who could have predicted a cold snap like this? Weather? Climate change? Never heard of it. Who could ever predict that we would ever see climate change? Except in 2011, they had the opportunity to weatherize all of these things. No, please don't eat. This is one of his favorite places to eat catch it. My God, it's the worst. Okay. The Austin American Statesman reports a federal report issued in the summer of 2011, 2011 found that state officials back in 1989, after another cold snap that caused rolling outages, issued a number of recommendations aimed at improving winterization on the part of the generators. Ah, they knew about this shit, the entire possibility of it, since for a long time now, and they didn't do it. They had the opportunity. Professionals said they ought to weatherize it, and they fucking didn't. Hey, brother, how you doing? Good, yeah, bud, how you doing? Oh, my God, top of the world. I know, lovely day. Hitting it, yeah. Come on, Walt. Um, and <laughs> come, come. Come in here. Um, had a perfect opportunity to weatherize their windmills. They, and, besides, it's not, and it's not like it's impossible, right? Because right now, in Alaska... They've got wind power generators blowing. They're like fucking the blades of a blender. They're spinning so fast. Uh, it's entirely possible to winterize these windmills. Oh, so sad. You know what I don't... Uh, this is something. Fuck. I'm just thinking of it now, actually. And I'm a fucking genius. So the problem with windmills... Or not the problem. Well, it is a problem, and, and there's a solution. Um, one of the biggest problems with windmills is that there's only one wind like turbine on the pole because they're running sort of perpendicular. You know what I mean? They can, they only have room for one. Why don't they make the propellers go horizontally? And then you can stack a bunch of them on top of each other and each one is spinning and collecting its own power. You understand what I'm saying? It would, they'd look like the, uh, you could put on so many goddamn wind propellers. What is it called? I clearly uh, know the technical term for all of that. I've studied this very deeply. Uh, you could, they would look like the, the brushes in a, in a car wash. You know what I mean? The, those long, those big, huge, tall brushes that come up and, and get you on the side. Fucking cover them in windmills. Cover them in blades and... Oh my God, could you imagine? You'd have so many. You'd have so much. You could quadruple the... More than that. How fucking... You could math the power. Um, but, yeah, so that's presently the line of attack from the conservative bent. It is profoundly out of touch. Um, but conservative... And I don't want to get too political... Conservatives are living in a completely fucking different world. Uh, it is not based in a reality that uh, you or I witness uh, on a daily basis. I mean, no, 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 please, God, Wally, we're almost, we're so close to home, he, and he knows it too, he's trying to back up. He's like, bruh, no, no, Wally, no, no, no. Yeah, good boy. <sighs> anyway, here is the... Seventh Ward Triangle. We've got a, a squash on the ground. Has it seen better days? And it is organic. My God. I'm going to put this here. Have I really been on this shit for 30 minutes? God damn it. It's getting longer and longer. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Well, uh, we covered a few things today. And I got to be honest, I could have covered a lot more. But uh, thank you all so much for uh, checking in with me. And uh, I will see you again. Wally will see you again. Uh, 
Definitely make a donation, if you can, to the NOLA Project, to the Seventh Ward Triangle, or to me. Keep things going. Uh, if I get donations on this, it keeps me from making an OnlyFans account.